okay out there. What are we doing for these? Show us. Okay. Ones that you've made. We're going to put them in. Okay, so we've done one already, that's the end box over there. This one's just been done now. Feeder frame back on. Roof back on. Move on. Third one in. So the worker bees from both sides, from the bottom, that are dealing with a queen that's already living it down there, can get up through the baffle plate into the top box and they're heartless, they don't care. As long as they've got a queen in front of them producing eggs, they don't mind. They won't have one up here, they'll just have that yellow thing with a, a titchnack, which is the larvae of a queen bee waiting to come out so they'll attend to that as well the two bees will the two queen bees will know of each other's existence but won't be able to get to each other the fourth one now god he's lightning it would have made a good assistant cook on St James okay that's the fourth one by my reckoning on to the fifth, on ultimate. And we don't lose anything from this because as long as we've got one queen in there, we have to pull that baffle plate away and make it one complete hive then I go back to the same numbers I started with but it's uh, it's a novel concept that's been used before and produces up to four times per colony uh, the yield the harvest that a uh, normal system would produce box is one of three that I've got at the moment on the top. They're shorter, they're half DB size, Delta Bravo, and the frames that Elvia is levering up now, they're LS, Lima Sierra, longer but, but shorter in, sorry, LR, yeah, named after the people that use them, LR. I wonder if I've been getting funny looks in the shop when I've been asking for <laughs> wax. Okay, end of story.